Okay, so this is my car. Took a while to make, but it's here. Ignore the barking, it's just a stupid dog. Okay. So now, I should probably. Oh, it's already turned on. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to show you the key. When starting the engine, it closes the doors and turns the key. Okay. Now, I pressed the wrong button. Now I'm an idiot. That's what I, that's what's now. Mm, yeah, okay. Okay. You may notice that when I close that door, a step pops out. And it can go all the way in, of course. Okay, that's better. Boom. 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 Every time. Now, time for the headlights. And then the roof lights, I guess they're called. You may notice, when you go in here, the lights actually show. Another thing that this stick right here shows turning signals. They do blink and everything. Now, for the stick shift. Keep in mind, I'm only 16. I have never actually driven a car. Just want you guys to know that. Now, if you want to clean the windows, just do that. Do some squirts. Windshield wipers. Oh my god, it's too dark. Anyways, windshield wipers. Front and back. Now, on top of the uh, on top of the turning signals, there's also well, there's the reverse which does lights. There's also hazards, all lights, except for the front. That that's obvious. Then. There is down here stick shift. But do this camera reverse automatically whoops, switch first gear. You can see it's pushing me forwards a bit. Then second gear pushes me forwards even more. Third gear pushes me uh, more than the other ones. Then turbo. It's doesn't look like much now, but you'll see the difference in a moment. There's normal. Then here, hold on. Here is terrible. Big difference. Now, on top of all that. If you're going up a mountain, you're having trouble, you can go ahead and press either this, that just uh, evenly distributes extra down force, and this, which is most down force up in front, allowing you to lever yourself over a ledge if you're stuck. I'll show, what I, I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Now, extra downforce, normal downforce, immediately does that, immediately goes up, 
go like this, it can stay on there. But if I turn off the downforce, it immediately does that. Okay, turn it back on. Now, if I go over here, and try and go up here, you'll see it's extremely difficult. Put on the extra downforce, uh, that's meant for the front, immediately. You can see it's starting to push itself up like that. Levers itself right over the ledge. The gears also help with this, allowing you to speed up and get over ledges faster. But that's self explanatory, so I will not show you it. Now, a bit more inside the car. You get to a good stop. Good stopping spot. That's not a good stop spot. Uh, this spot right here. Good. Now, air conditioning. Because, yes, I do have air conditioning. Air conditioning, right there. Uh,. I don't know where my ornament went. Probably fell somewhere. Anyways, um, yeah, that's what's inside the car. Um, other than that, handbrake and um. Well, there are extra compartments, compartments inside of here, right here, right here, there is, I, I, I don't know what it's called, but it's a compartment of some sort, okay, so, yeah, brackets, oh wait, that's the button, uh, you know what, um, there. Not brackets, it's something else, but anyways. Moves up and down, it opens. Now, it's kind of hard to see the glove part because the chair is in the way. The little seat is in the way. But, I can fix that. Now it's visible. And yes, the chairs are adjustable. I did just adjust the chairs. Just, just the chairs. <laughs> um, glove compartment now, which is the brackets. Opens up. Completely opens up. And you saw a bit of the chair. But you can see all of it. Now, bam, bam, like that. Both of them adjust. Both of them can move forwards extra, move backwards extra. Then they can also move up. And yes, it does affect the camera. So, seems that's all I have to show you for now. See you in some other creation, I guess. Uh, bye.